Finally, Robin Greiner and Carol Armaka Butler are proof the Central Valley can produce Olympic level figure skaters. The Fresno duo had their Olympic experience nearly seven decades ago. Now, sadly, Greiner passed away in November at the age of 89. But four years ago, I caught up with the pair in Fresno and we took a trip down memory lane. Here's the headlines about the one where we came in fifth in the Olympics. 66 years ago, Carol Ermaca Butler and Robin Greiner were in Cortina, Italy, representing the United States at the 1956 Winter Olympics. I couldn't have ever been that young. <laughs> Growing up in Fresno, they both started skating just for fun. And when he was 14 and she was 10, the two were paired together by figure skating coaches at the old Fresno ice rink on Olive Avenue. They saw something in the two of us. I don't, we weren't skating together at that time, but they put us together. They moved up the ranks fast. And several years later, in 1953, they won the first of four consecutive U.S. pairs titles. Our hopes were for the gold medal. Three years later, they finished fifth in what would turn out to be their only Olympic experience after Carol fell during their one and only program. I know I cried on the telephone, you know, when I talked to my mother and dad. We used to skate that fast well. Pairs figure skating has come a long way since their competitive days. They do things now that I don't think either one of us ever dreamed of yeah. doing. They actually skated on an outdoor rink in that Olympics. Robin, you skated outdoors too, right? Yeah. What's yeah. that like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> And they weren't allowed to do jumps that required more than two spins or lifts that had more than one and a half rotations. And the Olympic skating certainly didn't get all the media attention that it gets today. Did you ever expect Robin to still be getting attention about this? You know, like after 10 years or so, the two of us, we were still friends, but we're not training or anything. <laughs> I'm Scott Bemis for Sports Central. That uh, was a fun day. Got another Central Valley Olympic dream story coming your way Tuesday night in sports at 11, as we'll tell you about the connection between the 1932 Winter Olympics and Yosemite National Park. We'll be right back.